Hello and welcome once again in this uh, MOOC course on control system. And today's topic of discussion is transfer function. Transfer function is a convenient way to represent LTI system. LTI means linear time invariant system. LTI system in terms of in terms of its input and output relationship. Once again, this transfer function is convenient way way for representing convenient way for representing LTI system in its in terms of its input and output relationship. So what is the advantage of using this transfer function representation? Major advantage is that we can use simple algebraic equations instead of complex differential equations for system uh, analysis and designing purpose. Consider that input signal is available. Input signal is available. This signal will produce output. This signal will produce output. So input is basically cause and result is effect. Input signal operates, input signal operates through the transfer operation to produce the output. Input signal when applied to system, it operates through the transfer operation to produce the output. So this input will produce, this input will produce the output through the transfer operation, through the transfer operation. That transfer operation is termed as transfer function. That is termed as transfer function. This in, when we apply the input, this will produce the output through the transfer operation, through that transfer operation, and that is termed as transfer function. So we can now represent input and output relationship using this block diagram, using this block diagram, this block diagram, and transfer operation is termed as recognized as transfer function, transfer function. So this is the block diagram representation of control system. This block diagram representation is basically pictorial representation, pictorial representation of control system pictorial representation of control system. Once again, I repeat, transfer function. This transfer function is convenient way to represent LTI system. LTI means linear time invariant system in terms of its input and output relationship. If we have input, this and this is applied to some system, it will produce an output through the transfer operation, through the transfer operation. That transfer operation is termed as transfer function. Now we can re relate this input and output re relationship with the help of this block diagram. This block diagram is basically pictorial representation of control system. This, this is pictorial representation of control system. So these three quantities are now related to each other. One is input 
and uh, second is output. These are related with the help of transfer function. Suppose input is R, output is C, and this is represented by Z. This is represented by Z. Obviously, this output C is R multiplied by Z or G is equal to C by R. This is the transfer function, which is the ratio of output quantity to input quantity. This is the ratio of output to input quantity. We have already considered the Laplace transform. Laplace transform as most com uh, convenient form for the transformation uh, of uh, time domain differential equation into S domain. So Laplace transform is widely used in control system. So this transfer function can also be represented in the Laplace transform. If If in Laplace of Laplace of this RT that is the input signal is RS. Output of uh, Laplace of output CP is CS because we are transforming time domain signal into S domain signal. And Laplace transform and Laplace transform for transfer function ZT as ZS. If we have these time domain quantities and corresponding S domain quantities, then we can relate this trans uh, these three quantity in this way. Transfer function G S is equal to C S upon R S. C S upon R S. So we can now represent the um, we can represent these three quantity with the help of block diagram in this way. This is R S input quantity. This block with transfer function G S. This block is representing control system. This is the pictorial representation of control system. And output is RS. Output is RS. So this is the uh, relationship between this relationship between input and sorry, this is CS. This is CS. Okay, okay, okay. This is CS. This is. CS output is CS and input is RS. So output upon input uh, is equal to this transfer function GS. Now we can define the transfer function here. The transfer function of a uh, control system is defined as the ratio of this is basically ratio of Laplace transform of Laplace transform of Laplace transform of output variables output variable to output variable to Laplace transform of Laplace transform of input variable of input variable. One thing we should remember here that is very important. This definition we have considered assuming assuming all initial conditions, all initial conditions as zero, all initial conditions as zero. Initial conditions we have to consider as 
zero. In order to define this La, tra, uh, transfer function in terms of Laplace transform. All initial condition will be considered here as zero. One example I would like to illustrate here. Suppose this is an electrical circuit consists of resistance R and capacitor C. This, so this is RC network. This is RC network. Input voltage is EI because of this current is I. Output voltage measured is E naught. So by using KVL, by applying KVL at input side, by applying KVL at input we have total voltage ei is equal to voltage drop across r and c this is a famous kvl kirchhoff's voltage law so we have r into i plus uh, voltage across capacitor is given by this relation i dt suppose this is equation number one similarly at the output output current flowing through the capacitor is I capacitance is C. So this is 1 upon C I dt. This is equation number 2. We have already considered the transfer function as the ratio of output to input, assuming all initial conditions as 0. Now, taking Laplace transform, taking Laplace transform of equations 1 and 2, we can write this input voltage EIS is equal to RIS plus 1 upon C. So this is IS upon current S. Suppose this is equation number 3. And similarly, for uh, uh, equation number two, we can apply the Laplace transform in this way. E naught S is equal to one upon C current is I S upon S. This is equation number four. This is equation number four. So once again, I repeat this problem. This is an example. This is RC network. This is RC network. And we are going to determine the transfer function. So this input voltage EI causes uh, I to flow uh, through the R and C. So, it, so by using Kirchhoff's voltage low, Input voltage EI is equal to RI plus 1 upon C. C is the capacitance of the capacitance I dt. And similarly, for output voltage E naught, this is equal to uh, multiplication of current and capacitance of this uh, capacitor. So this will give 1 upon C I dt. We have taken the Laplace transform of equation 1 and to both the sides, we have taken the Laplace transform. So we have equations three and four in S domain. We have transformed, we have transformed time domain different equations, time domain equations, equations into S domain. Equations three and four are in S domain. In second class, we have discussed the um, discussed some points uh, regarding the differential equations, which are uh, which uh, equations describing the control system. So this is dynamic electrical uh, control system, where uh, the equations are given in equations describing the input and output are in time domain and using the Laplace transform, we can transform 
these equations in S domain of frequency domain. In order to find the in order to find the transfer function, which is the ratio of output quantity to input quantity, assuming all initial conditions as zero, we can find uh, we can determine the transfer function in this way. As per the definition, this is output quantity. This is input quantity. Both are in Laplace transform form. And this is the output is equal to 1 upon uh, Cs into Cs into Is. I s this is divided by this is divided by input quantity which is this this function so this is taking the i s s common this will reduce to r plus one upon c s r plus one upon c s into i s this is the this is the ratio of input and output and finally this can be written in this way. This is R C S C S plus one, which is the required, which is the required transfer function for R C network. R into C. This is the R into C. R S. R to cs plus 1 so this is the required transfer function for rc network so thank you very much in next class we will discuss more problems on transfer function and also find the zeros and poles when a transfer function is given thank you